this video we are going to be talking about how to buy a new construction home if you are in the market to buy a new construction you're going to want to watch this we're going to go through the process from the start to finish and what kind of cost to expect so stay tuned hello i am danielle kim i'm a realtor here in houston and this video is about how to buy new construction it's step number one get prepared you need two people you need a lender and you need a realtor well you don't need but this is going to set a foundation for your entire process they're going to tell you what your budget is what you can afford what kind of programs you can uh, qualify for what kind of down payment you might need and a lender will also take a look at what the builders lender is offering you versus what they can offer you and tell you which one is a better program to go with the second person you want that i would recommend getting is a realtor they are going to help you with the entire process, they're going to help you with all the paperwork, they're going to help you understand the builder, what the builder process is, and they're going to help you find a builder and a location and a house that best suits you. I would recommend these two people. They are not necessary. You don't have to do that, but um, that is what I recommend. Step number two in new construction, research and visit the builders. Once you have finally narrowed down a few builders or a few layouts and models that you are interested in, you are gonna wanna go find a house that you like and you find a builder that you like. This is an important part. Make sure you have a thorough understanding of what the actual price is. Sometimes with builders, there's like those signs, you know, that say something in the low 300s or whatever, and then that doesn't include the lot price. You just have to remember that you are going to also be paying for the premiums. You are going to be paying for the elevation premiums, the structural premiums, and the design upgrades. So if you have been pre-approved for a certain amount, you gotta make sure that the base price plus whatever you plan to do is going to be within budget. When you are initially looking at a floor plan you love, like really study that floor plan because there are some little things that builders will change like uh, that you won't even notice even the way like the door swings make sure that it is all in the contract written out because it is a lot harder to change down the road so the next step is to write an offer this is when you are going to decide your features your upgrades your elevations everything is going to be in the contract the contract is about 40 pages long and you'll initial every single page unlike a typical real estate contract this is written by the builder and unfortunately it is heavy heavily weighted towards um being in the the builder's favor also to keep in mind when you're in the offer portion is that new home sales don't typically let you um they don't negotiate on the price what the price is is the price unless it's a quick move in but generally speaking you're better off negotiating the upgrades and sometimes the closing costs after you do the contract um the sales agent of the builder will take it to their manager. It takes a few days to get approved. Um, usually it's approved. Sometimes they might come back and have you do a few more negotiations. Once it is approved, then we go on to the next step, which is the deposits. Sometimes a new construction can cost a little bit more than a traditional resale property. You do have to put a escrow fee amount anywhere from 5,000 to 1% of the sales price. The second deposit is the builder's deposit or the construction deposit, whatever you want to call it. And it is usually uh, one or 2% of the final sales price or up to 50% of all the upgrades you choose so towards your final cost at the end. But it is also non-refundable if something happens with the contract. This builder fee is basically because they are customizing a certain house to your standards. And they want insurance that if you back out, they're going to be able to sell it. They're going to be able to recoup their costs and pay for putting it on the market. So that is kind of a downer for new construction. Just be prepared for that. Put it in your budget and know that whatever upgrades, you're probably going to have to um, put some cash out for that. So the next step is the design center. This can either be really fun or really stressful for some people. Uh, it comes about 30 days after you sign the contract. You will go to the design center. This initial appointment takes anywhere from like three to four hours. And this is where you're going to pick everything from your house, from the recessed lighting to the outlets, to the countertops, the cabinets, the flooring. Everything is going to be decided here, but don't worry, you don't have to decide everything in one day. And there will be a designer there to kind of help you with the process and help you understand things and kind of match everything together. At the end of this appointment, they will give you an itemized list for you to take home and think about and make sure that you are happy with everything you decided. Just don't go overboard with the upgrades. If you are buying a house in a $400,000 community, then don't go over that in upgrades because it'll be really hard. You could run into the problem of having a problem reselling or 
not getting your money back for what you put in. Another thing I would say is that the builders make a lot of their money in the design process, the design center process. Some of their deals are really good and worth it. Others you can probably do better yourself or outside source it. So I would definitely do your research and look at what's the most important and what is the best thing for your buck. The next step is the construction process. All right, so the construction process is, it can take anywhere from four months to eight months. There's always sometimes unexpected errors that happen, unexpected delays, so you just have to really be prepared. During the construction process, you are going to have a number of meetings with the builder. The first one is a pre-construction meeting. You're going to walk the lot, you're going to review the plans that you selected, all the features that you selected, and you're going to just initiate everything. Remember to really study the plans during this process because this is your chance to change it. It's much easier for him to change it on paper than it is for him to change it once it is built. The next meeting is a pre-drywall meeting. At this point, the um, concrete has been laid, the frame is up, the plumbing and the electric have been roughly put in. Before they install the drywall and hide all these things, I would recommend taking pictures so that in the future you know where all this stuff is located. You will walk this with your foreman again and he will explain things to you. I would also recommend, some do, some don't, is to get an inspector uh, that does the inspection of the house at different phases to make sure everything is structurally sound before the drywall goes Next up. Next meeting is the walkthrough. This is done a, um, about a week before your closing and the foreman is going to go with you through it and he is going to show you how everything works. He is going to show you the breakers, the irrigation system, the shutoff valves, the water systems. Uh, this meeting usually takes about two hours. It's like an orientation and he is going to explain everything to you. At this point also if you see things that you don't like you can let him know and he will, he will list it and fix it. This is also the punch list. This is where you take your handy dandy blue tape and tape anything that you don't like or that you see needs fixing and he will go through and fix it before the final walkthrough. The last meeting at the construction process is the final walkthrough. This is where you will meet with the foreman again. You will go through, make sure all the changes from the punch list have been completed, that everything is up to standard and it has turned out the way that you intended it to. You will have your closing day, yay! The nice thing about new construction is that you get a lot of warranties. After the first 30 days of living in your house, the foreman will come back and he will ask you if there's any questions or concerns or anything that's not working properly and he will fix it for you or help you understand how it works. They will do this again a year later. So if you so now that the process is done, the last thing I would recommend is to keep good records. Scan the survey, scan the plot, scan all the paperwork you have for your house and then start an Excel sheet and keep record of all the upgrades you do through the years. This will make reselling the property much easier and much easier for you to remember everything and have a complete history of the house from the time it was built all the way till present. That's it. That's how you buy a new construction home. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll be happy to answer. If you are in the process of building a new construction home or you have built one, please also leave a comment if I may have missed something or you have had a different experience. So if you like this video, you can subscribe as I will be releasing a new video about new construction every week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.